Good boy, thank you. Good. Had a bit of a shorter leash today. I know, what do you think of that? Good, come on. Very good. He did really well. We walked by some people. He had a little bit of a hard time after that and started speeding up. So we, I praised him a bunch. Did his whole routine of getting a little overstimulated and coming to, to jump up and try to put something in his mouth. We ran. Jogged, I don't know, three driveways. And then let him sniff and he was done. That's kind of how I, this way, thank you. It's kind of how I deal with it. So if I'm gonna have him on a shorter leash, good. Rather, if I want him closer to me, good. I just shorten the leash. I don't typically use a heel command unless I have treats or I'm looking for a very precise heel or the dog's off leash. Good. That was a lot of yawns, I think we're done. Don't eat those. Thank you. <laughs> Sit. Good. Up. Good. Sit. Yes. All right. So I might be waiting too long. That's what we're doing right now is building a little bit more of that duration. Good. Yes. Good. So good is the continuation marker of you're doing exactly the correct thing. Keep going. And yes is the you're done. Get a reward. That's it. Good. Yes. Good. Get it. And I won't consistently increase the duration. So if I want to build up the duration, I'll go a little bit longer and then a little shorter and a little longer, a little shorter. I like to find out, I jumped it. I like to find out what his kind of attention span is. Good. Sit. Ah. Good, sit. Good, yes. And the hand movement helps him a lot. So I'm using that right now, but eventually I'd like to be able to have him sit and stay where he is. without needing to remind him or clarify or use my hand movement to shape that. Good. Get it. Get it. And I break it up. I break it up with a lot of movement like this because that's how you get balance. If you're asking for a lot of stillness, you have to reward and take breaks with a lot of movement. That's it. Good, up, good, yes. Okay. I switch it up on him. Down, down, very good, yes. <laughs> That's just the cutest thing. I love that. Get it. And as always, if I want him to take a little break, whole handful. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Good. Get it. <laughs> that helps slow him down, take a break, disengage from me, think differently, use his nose. It's a really valuable tactic. expecting not to pull but good boy okay we give him breaks still that takes more work 
more focus, more concentration. So I will alternate between those two things where he gets the long leash to sniff and then a short leash to bring him in close for a couple minutes and then back to, when? good. Back to his break and having more space. Shorter leash for a bit. <laughs> Good boy. Good job. I don't use, like I said, I don't use a lot of heel command, like as a verbal cue. I just shorten the leash, and if he knows not to pull, then by default he'll end up closer. Hey, scooch over. Thank you. Good. Okay. 